It's appropriately titled Apollo 13, and it opens this Friday. The film is directed by Ron Howard. Well, it was supposed to be a routine mission, that is, if you consider flying men to the moon routine, but something went seriously wrong with Apollo 13, and we almost lost those three Americans in space. In fact, more at the movie Apollo 13 debuts Friday, and tonight the Newsbeat's Paul Gross shows you what went wrong in space and how a Michigan man helped save those astronauts. For the first uh, oh, 50 some hours, uh, it was a very normal flight. We we're some 200,000 miles from Earth and only about maybe 40,000 miles from the moon. Everything was working fine. We had a few small anomalies, but nothing that we thought was uh, bad. And until the explosion occurred. Hey, Houston, we've had a problem here. Say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Main B bus undervolt. Roger, main B undervolt. Stand by a 13, we're looking at it. We had a pretty large bang associated with the um, caution and warning there. Ann Arbor's Jack Lausma was at the other end of that chilling conversation. At what point did you realize that your friends, your colleagues up there were in real trouble, real serious trouble? When we uh, got the report that the uh, oxygen uh, the supply was decreasing rather rapidly, uh, it was clear that uh, something extreme was going wrong. We knew it was something bad immediately. Uh, we just didn't know how bad. There were a lot of uh, lights on. Now the uh, men when the accident occurred or when the explosion occurred were right here in this uh, command module, three of them connected to the lunar module, and they had a tunnel between them where they could go into the lunar module as well. So they went into the lunar module and started it up and uh, turned on the electricity, the, the um, control system and the guidance system. So then the lunar module did all of the action uh, uh, to go around the moon and come back to the Earth to change, do the mid-course corrections and to provide environmental support and so forth. So this lunar module was basically used as a lifeboat then? That's exactly what it was called. It was a lifeboat. It wasn't normally used for that. It was usually left at the moon. With the help of that lifeboat, a severely damaged Apollo 13 finally headed home. But danger still lurked. If the capsule approached the Earth's atmosphere at too shallow of an angle, it would skip off toward the sun. At too steep an angle, the astronauts would be crushed to death by the intense force of gravity. As Apollo 13 approached Earth, the astronauts jettisoned the damaged service module. And what they saw was amazing. And there's one whole side of that big uh, missile. Is that right? And the whole panel is blown out, almost from the uh, base to the uh, entrance. It's really a mess. Man, that's unbelievable. Radio transmission then ceased as the spacecraft entered the Earth's atmosphere. Mission Control watched and waited. We up now on three minutes until time of drogue deployment. Standing by for any reports. Until the parachutes came out, until I plopped nicely into the ocean and it was floating and it wasn't sinking, then I thought, yes, I've got this flight made. For many years, Apollo 13 was NASA's biggest blemish, but this failed lunar mission is now considered one of NASA's shining moments, an incredible rescue that succeeded despite very long odds. I'm Paul Gross, Newsbeat.